Hi there everyone welcome back again to Engineering Pritam in this video we will talk about axial hole inside particular parametric as the name says these holes require axis as a reference and in this video we will see two such use case scenario one in part modeling and for the first time we will see the utility of it in assembly mode so without further ado let's get started okay so here we can see we are already in ptc crew parametric environment now let me quickly click on new and then click okay and then let's click on crude and i'm gonna quickly create a feature here and then um let's actually make this value as 25 and hit okay now let's make this value as 500 and this one as 250 now i'm gonna press z to regenerate it and now let's quickly create an axis here so as i said as the name suggests the axial type of hole required axis as a reference so let me click on coaxial as the name suggests the axis of the hole will be same as the axis that we have added now let me provide it another reference which would be the surface from where the hole will start so let me quickly press control button and select the top surface and now here in case of depth i can make it through all now let me actually add standard and tabbed type hole so that we can also prepare this model for our next example and then here i'm gonna choose m8 into 1.25 and let me choose depth as through all and then let's again go in shape here and thread depth here i'm gonna make it through thread okay now let's also add exit countersink here that we generally do with a chamfer of 0 0.5 into 45 degree so this one going to be my first plate so let me quickly save it here now let me quickly close this and now let's click on new and now i'm gonna add this another plate here okay and this one i'm assuming that is approximately similar kind of just like the one that we have created okay so this plate is also ready let me also save this plate as well now let me close this now go to new assembly okay now i'm gonna add my first part let's make it default and this is the first time guys we are in assembly mode inside this course now let me add another model so just i would like to show you one of very good use case scenario where we can utilize this access tool so this was the reason why we are in this assembly mode environment now let me quickly assemble this okay so the only thing left is this one okay now let me disable all these different different types of entities and only enable this access display so here we can see we have created this tapped hole now for example i would like to tie this upper plate with bottom plate using bolt now how we can do that we can do that utilizing axial hole and then we will also understand the beauty of it so now let me quickly activate my part number two and i think i need to enable this access display now let's click here on hole select this axis and then select the plane just like we did in case of coaxial hole inside part now here let's click on standard and then let's go with clearance type and let's click on counter bore for example we are using counter bore style of bolt now let's go with m8 into 1.25 just like the size of this tapped hole and let me actually go with wireframe so that you know we can preview it perfectly and let's go here in shape and here you can define the kind of fit type you would like to go with and here we can see you can also see other values that is predefined based on the size of screw 
Now let's make it through all and add countersink such that there is no sharp edges and these both plate is flush properly. Now let's click OK. And there we go guys here we can see. Although I think I have added a very huge countersink. So let's actually you know fix that. Let's go to shape and here this value is 8. I'm gonna make this one at 9.5 at max and let's hit OK. And there we go guys here we can see we have added a perfect clearance hole type for this tapping hole in below plate. So in this way guys we can utilize this access hole. And then I'm gonna also show you another benefit or advantage of it. For example, let's make change here in the position of this axis hole. For that, I need to change this axis value. Let's make it 70 and this descends as 150. Okay, so this change I have made in part one. Let me regenerate it. Now you can see this hole now moved to this new position. And if I, um, you know, go back to wireframe, we now can see both holes are at different location but as soon as i go in my top assembly level i'm going to click on regenerate here we go guys here we can see this cleanse hole is dependent on this tapping hole this hole automatically moved as soon as i press regenerate so in this way guys we have seen how we can utilize coaxial hole inside pt zero parametric both in part and assembly environment. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to this channel. If you have got any kind of difficulty in creating it, do let us know in comment down below and I will try to respond to you as soon as possible. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.